Hello everyone, it is Susan here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in a collaboration with Enchanted Dream 71. Her name is Lori. Um, and this is for a hashtag flashcard Friday collage. So definitely hop over to her channel. I'll have her link below. And she'll have everybody's links in her description box that are participating. So you may recognize this journal. It is from a collaboration that I hosted with um, Sherry and Joanne. And you know, I'm gonna create um, a playlist for this journal and I'll put it below as well. So it will include those three videos as well as everything going forward. So this is a true junk journal. It is made out of envelopes. Even the cover of it is an envelope. You can see it, it has the plastic in it right here, um, but it was a mailing envelope. So you can check out the other three videos to see how I did the charms and the front with the lace and the whole thing. So what I want to do is I want to work on one of the pages for this collaboration. And um, what I've decided to do, so like all of these are envelopes. They're all, all different size envelopes. And I have covered them with um, scrapbook paper, uh, DIY shop from Crate Paper, which is an older collection. So. I have it, all the pages in here with elastic so I can easily pull them out to work on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna work on this page right here. The only other thing I've done in here besides what I'm gonna do right now is I added this altered paper clip, which I did in a, um, and well, another collaboration. This one was with Joanne uh, from Junk Journal Treasures. Um, and it was an altered paper clip collaboration. And I just am tucking this little tag in there. And I'll probably come and put, you know, some something in there. But for now, um, so I'm just really starting decorating these pages. So in here, this is actually two envelopes that were glued together and I trimmed off the top. So there are pockets up top on both sides, but we're going to focus on this right here. So since it is a hashtag about using flashcards, um, I found this flashcard in my stash. I think it's the only one I have. I couldn't find another one, but I do have this one. So I, the thought I have is I want to use this fabric as a pocket, but oh, I forgot to tell you one thing. So you have to select prompts and I'm kind of cheating and I hope it's okay, Lori. But what I did was um, when I was watching the video from last week of Lori's, I kind of, I'm just going to use the same prompts that she had. <laughs> I don't have dice. I don't know where I would even find dice. It's like, oh, I just, so this was just easier for me. Um, so I have to use a butterfly. And then since this is collage, right? Flashcard Friday collage is the two pieces I have to use in my collage or is music sheet and typed text. So, um, yeah, so I think the first thing that I'm gonna do so that it dries is I'm gonna go ahead and actually just cut this fabric and I'm gonna see if I can give it a nice little tear here. And, yep, perfect. And I know that I just want this right here. So let me go ahead and glue this down. And then we'll go ahead and we will work on the flashcard and the collage, which I'm going to put actually on the back of the flashcard. 
And so let me tell you this story about this particular journal. So I have a friend that is moving away. In, well, I'm actually doing this video on Christmas Day, believe it or not. It's a very quiet day here for me. Um, and I can, if I remember, I'll tell you why that is uh, in a few minutes. But, um, so I have a friend. She's my, well, she's just a really good friend. And she is also, um, like my closest crafty friend. So she and I would get together all the time and, you know, at one or at the other house and, uh, yeah, and, uh, she's moving. So I live in New Jersey and she lives in New Jersey <laughs> right now. Um, but she is moving to Tennessee. So, uh, they already bought the house and, um... Yeah, so I think that they're planning to have their house sold up here um, and to be fully moved by May. So that means I only have a few more months with her here, which is very sad to me. Um, yeah, it's very sad. Um, I mean, we just, you know, when we get together, we're together for a whole day. day. Um, I've even spent weekends at her house and, you know, crafty weekends. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's going to be a big adjustment for me, for sure. Uh, we would even go away together on crafty vacations. Just that kind of thing. You guys know, you know. And, um, so anyway, um, yeah, so it's going to be, be, you know, a big thing for me for sure. But anyway, so my point being is that I want to give her this journal. Um, I know I'll see her again. I know I will. Um, I'm saying I'm um a lot, I guess, cause I'm thinking I... I'm going to miss her. So, but I want her to have something to remember me by, even though I do think that she will uh, be back from time to time. Uh, so, so the prompts were butterfly, butterfly, um, typed text, which is this from 1984, this newspaper. I'll have to tell you that story too. Some music sheet which is this right here. So I think I'm just gonna grab a piece of this. Um, so let me tell you about this 1984, January 1st, 1984. Wow, so that makes it 84, 94, 04, 14, 20, almost, almost 50 years old, 48 years old. Is that right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm old. <laughs> Um, but anyway, the reason I have this newspaper is because, um, I used to, um, whatchamacallit, um, oh, the word just went right out of my head. <laughs> do ceramics. I used to do cer ceramics. And I had made many different things um, in ceramics. And one of the things that I had made was, um, you know those ceramic Christmas trees, right? You put those little lights in them and they're adorable and wonderful and yeah. So apparently in 1984, <laughs> January 1st of 1984, or soon after, um, I must have packed up that tree and after Christmas and, um, yeah, and I packaged it with that paper. Isn't that kind of cool? I think that's kind of a cool story. And the reason why I'm using it is because the, um, 
I went to pull out the tree. I haven't used it in years and years and years and years. And I went to pull it out to use it. And I could not find the lights. Could not find the lights. And, um, yeah, so I ordered those, you know, those little plastic lights that goes in those trees. Yeah, and uh, I ordered... I don't know, at least three from three different places, those lights. Every single one, every single package I got was too big. So they must not make it the size that I need anymore. Um, so I stopped buying everything. And um, yeah, and I took the newspaper out of it. <laughs> now I have the newspaper. Well, in my, in my craft room. So that's the story of that paper. Okay, so let me see. Let me kind of explain what I'm doing here. So I happen to have this person in my stash, which just a lady, you know, old style lady. And um, I just thought she went well there. And then I have these words that are also typed that I bought, um, you know, from, um, let's see, where am I gonna put that? I'll put it right there. From Etsy, from a shop, uh, it's a digital. So those are also typed. I have my uh, music paper right there. And I thought this was cute, it says love. And so this is also, also typed, um, an intense feeling of deep affection. So I wanted to try to get this up here or on here, but you know what? I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do that. Uh, I also thought pulling in some blue might be nice. Although, oh, I like that one. You know what, I'm gonna put that one there. So that's the story behind the paper, the, the newspaper, and that's the story behind this journal. So part of my 2022 uh, videos will be that journal, and I'm going to be putting, uh, you know, all kinds of fabrics and pretty stuff in there. So, and then when the last time I see her, well, I, I know she'll be back up. I know she will, but still, it'll be a while and it won't be the same. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll be able to give it to her. And I think she'll be surprised because, oh, let me tell you this too. So, the day I started that journal was one of those days when she was at my house. And I started it, like I had all the envelopes all glued together, but during that day with her here was where I put all the uh, scrapbook paper on the envelopes. And I remember her saying, oh, you know, you're gonna just take something like that and it's gonna turn out so pretty. So, so she was like, kind of like making fun of me because she was like, you know, you know, it was a compliment, you know, that, that, you know, that I can take or anybody can take an envelope and make something pretty out of it. And it is kind of amazing how we all, you know, take this stuff that would normally end up in the trash and we use it and we make something pretty out of it, right? So, so anyway, so, you know, there's a bit of history with this journal with her and I to begin with. And this, uh, wallpaper that's right here that gold she actually gave me that when she was cleaning out her mother's house she gave me two big things of uh wallpaper it's very old wallpaper very um very brittle but yep so there's like a lot of um history in this whole this whole uh project okay so I like that, so I have everything collaged on here. I do still need to do the butterfly, but so what I was thinking, if that goes something like that, I have this cluster, which has 
uh, printed butterflies from Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I thought I could put that right there. I thought that that would look pretty. And then maybe I can put the butterfly up there because that butterfly basically matches the color of these butterflies. So now I have to figure out how am I gonna get this on here? And I think the best solution is with some uh, Fabri-Tac. So I'm just gonna kinda do this. Put a decent amount on there. That's gonna go there. And it is hanging out over the, the side. You know, I'm gonna pull it up just a tad. So it is hanging out over the side of the envelope. And that is intentional and I like that. It's not affecting, oh, maybe it is, maybe it is. One second, one moment please. One moment, I don't want this to glue down on there. When I moved it up, I think I pulled up some glue and I don't want that for sure. All right, I'm gonna have to wait to put this back in that pocket because now I have glue on here too. Let me make sure that this is not going to close that pocket. All right, I'll just kind of do that like that. And then this way that it won't close the pocket. All right, so then the last thing that I'm going to do is add that butterfly on here. So I have my, my uh, flashcard and all of my prompts. And yeah, this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this. Thank you so much, Lori. Great, great, great collaboration. I've probably had this flashcard <laughs> for a gazillion years. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's good to use it for sure. So that's gonna go in the pocket. I'm not gonna do that this second, but what we will do is we will come back and I'm just gonna put that page gently back in here. And stay tuned for more videos about this particular junk journal um, of envelopes. And we will work on it together for sure. And, um, okay, there we go. Like that, like that, like that. There we go. All righty. So that is done. And again, this is going to end up going in here and it's going to be beautiful and pretty. And that is it. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope to participate in this um, collaboration again. And again, watch for my playlist below for this. Um, I'm going to call it my envelope journal. And this way uh, you can follow along on how I did the whole thing. If you would like to, you know, play along and participate, please do. And um, yeah, and let me know, let me know. I just wanna make sure that that's not sticking down. And I don't think it is. Okay, I think I'm in pretty good shape. All right, I'm gonna go and just put this to the side. I'm not gonna close it up or anything just yet. I'm going to let all the glue dry, and I will see you soon. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.